Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I am going to show you how I configure a new Crypto Hopper automated trading bot on the Qcoin exchange using one of my customized strategies where I choose a couple indicators to trigger buy signals on the bot. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Now the first thing you'll need is a Crypto Hopper uh, subscription. And in this case, I'm going to be deploying a bot using their Explorer subscription. And if you're new and you don't have an account with Crypto Hopper, you can sign up down below on the link that's included in the uh, description. And when you sign up, you do get a seven day free trial so you can try it out. And in this case, uh, this particular subscription allows me to have 15 coins and uh, intervals of 10 minutes and that will suffice for this particular strategy and quite honestly on Qcoin there's not more than 15 coins that have volume that warrant uh, using a automated trading bot for anyway so that's going to suffice and I use market cap to start with my recon on what coins I want to deploy and in this case uh, on the Qcoin exchange, I just do a search for Qcoin exchange and it will pull up all the coins that they offer on the exchange for trading. And on this exchange, of course, Bitcoin, ETH, ADA, XRP, Litecoin, EOS, a lot of the names you know actually have a decent amount of volume. And the reason volume is important is just because you say buy or sell, if there's no volume, there's no guarantee that your order will execute or maybe execute at the level you were hoping it might execute but at a completely different level because there's just no volume and so volume is absolutely key when trading whether via a crypto bot or live trading so i have i have already gone through selected which coins and then in addition to this process i will actually back test all these coins on my strategy to see how they perform uh, according to my actual strategy so let's go ahead and start setting that up we'll jump over here to crypto hopper and if you don't already have a hopper configured you're going to want to come down to the add a new hopper and you're going to create a trading hopper an automated trading bot and when you do that, you'll end up on this page that will offer you a wizard to help you configure it. But in this case, we are going to configure it uh, ourselves. So we click on that. And now we can start configuring our automated trading bot. So under basic settings, we're going to just need to give it a name. And in this case, I've named it Qcoin ADX RSI X for crossing. And these are basically the two indicators my strategy will utilize to execute triggers and so i don't activate the live bot till the very end i don't want any misfires while i'm setting this up uh, so the next tab is going to be the exchange itself and in this case it's qcoin and you can select from a list of all the different exchanges they offer and the qcoin api keys secret key and in this case uh, qcoin requires an api passphrase all of that is set up on the qcoin exchange and if you don't have an account with qcoin again there's a link down below in the description you can click on there and set up a qcoin account and under your settings you can configure your api keys and just copy and paste them into the appropriate spots and then use ticker rate we're going highest bid lowest ask notifications the only one i use currently is notification on trade and then buy settings uh, they're going to be a market order maximum open time of four minutes that should be more than enough time especially since i selected coins that have a decent volume for trades to be executed and for maximum open positions i'm going to go ahead and make that 15 and then I want to change this and then I want to change this number so that it's only one maximum open position per coin I only want one position per coin I don't want multiple positions next is enable cooldown I don't actually do that on this particular strategy as this strategy should be capturing the coin already moving in my 
direction and if I'm wrong and I get stopped out and it starts moving back in my direction I want to try to get back in and capture that momentum going up so I don't need it to actually cool down I'm not trying to catch a falling knife uh, I'm gonna let the knife fall and wait till it reverses that's how this strategy is set up and next is only open one buy order per coin we've got that enabled only buy when they're positive pairs we're gonna be trading on tether uh, as our base currency so I don't see that being an issue and auto merge positions we do not select so the next tab is coins and amounts and again that base currency we're choosing USDT which is tether and then here is where I was able to select from the list of coins available on this particular exchange and I have chosen XLM, EOS, ETC, LTC, Tron or TRX, ETH, BTC, Atom, XTZ, uh, Zcash and ADA in addition to TOKO, VID, BPRO and XPR. Those are the 15 coins that had sufficient volume and I actually did back testing on these coins so we'll jump over to the back test real quick just to show you and they all met my standards for this particular strategy and so I basically run the back test we'll do Adam real quick I load my existing configuration come down here hit start back test and it will run through the actual back test it may take a moment since it is running through a month worth of data uh, based on my strategy and we can see we get a couple buy and sell opportunities so far looking good in the green a couple more or at least one more and there's a couple red but you see the reds are smaller than the greens and in this case a maximum profit of almost three percent I had five winners which is a 71 percent win rate that's really high and I'm pretty happy with that and losses were two with about a 30 percent loss so uh, and again I'm keeping my losses smaller than my winners so my risk versus reward is really really solid and having a higher win rate is going to make that even better and we can take a quick look at the back test history that I ran and see there's Adam that's the one I just ran and you can see that 71 percent win rate uh, VID uh, the profit was uh, nice and high uh, the win rate was actually only 47 percent but with that high of a profit margin I can actually win less and lose more and still be profitable uh, if we take a look down we can see a couple that didn't qualify so like VET I ended up not going with I did go with Tron because I have traded it in the past and it has performed well so maybe this past month might not have been ideal the next month might be so I went ahead it was a small worst case I'm gonna have a small loss and in reality I would actually expect a positive return on this particular token and here we can come down keep coming down and see that for instance on EOS 55% win rate ETC is a 62% win rate uh, TLKO 60% win rate and after doing all the recon on these coins I selected my 15 and that is why it's so important to do your recon to make sure that these coins you don't just select all coins and just throw them at the wall and hope they stick uh, you need to actually do your recon and make sure they're going to work with your strategy so let's go back to the configure and we went through the 15 coins percentage buy amount I have set at 9% or $90 based on a thousand dollar bankroll and I'm actually going to have it force minimum buy amount uh, of a hundred dollars so each time it buys in I'm gonna have it buy a hundred dollars it will and again this is just a test account and I want to stress I am live fire testing this strategy I have not done that yet with this strategy with a crypto hopper bot I do not advise you to do this 
And if you do choose to copy this strategy and submit it to Live Fire, you're doing so at your own risk. I will do an updated video in the future, probably in about 30 days, to show you the results, whether positive or negative. I'll show you the results either way. It doesn't matter to me. So I use a very small account to do these Live Fire tests. And I recommend you do the same because I can do all the back testing I want. I can do all the paper trading I want. It will never replicate live fire. Never happens. So let's move on to the next tab, which is the strategy. And for the strategy, I have a variety of strategies I've started to configure. We'll go ahead and jump over to the strategy page and I'll show you this particular strategy. It's going to be my ADX RSIX, which stand, the X's are for crossing. And we'll click on that so I can show you the actual setting. The first indicator that I selected, you click on the tab here and you can select what indicator you want. And as you can see, the average directional movement index is your ADX. And what that basically will tell you is to measure the strength of movement whether negative or positive. So I'm again looking for it to basically verify the trend based on my RSI region crossover indicator. And so how the region crossover for RSI works is I can configure this to basically send a buy signal once it crosses over, in this case buy, I want to, when it crosses over the 20 threshold, it will signal a buy and I want that to be confirmed that it is moving in the direction positive not negative by utilizing the ADX indicator so those are the two indicators that are utilized in this particular strategy and you can configure your strategy pick any indicators or candle patterns that you ch choose and you can back test and live fire those strategies to see what one actually will work best and I do have a few different strategies as you can see and it typically is based on markets the market is always changing it could be a bull market could be a bear market the market could be in consolidation meaning moving sideways each strategy is optimized to work in different markets and in this case right now the ADX RSI assuming the market stays the way it's running right now, should perform well. All right, so let's go back to the configuration. And for strategy, you can see I have my ADX RSIX. I'm not using signals. And number of targets to buy, we're going to bump that up to 10, which is the maximum. Unfortunately, you can't go to 15. And what that basically just means is if for some reason, which I have never seen it happen, all of a sudden all 15 coins are triggered for a buy it can only buy 10 at a time it, and that's the max they allow and trailing stop by i don't have turned on trailing stop by usually is when you're like watching a price movement down and you want to wait till it starts moving up and in your direction to actually place the buy order in this case this particular strategy is already waiting for the direction to be moving in the trend of upwards and therefore I don't do a trailing stop by sell settings I have plugged in uh, but the, the reality is I'm going to sell based on a trailing stop loss sell strategy I don't sell based on my strategy I could since it could use that same strategy to sell when it gets oversold on the RSI which would be 90 and the ADX would indicate uh, the movement in a negative direction so I could basically sell based on my strategy as well and so the next tab is going to be stop loss listen if you're not trading with the stop loss and you're not using risk reward I've had people say yeah my stop loss is five percent and when I ask them well what's your take profit they'll say oh one two three percent that's a negative risk versus reward in the long run you're gonna get killed you're gonna wipe out all of your bankroll and in the long run that that doesn't work uh, yes my stop loss percentages are low the reason for that is if I'm wrong I want out quickly 
I don't want to bleed out slowly and watch it go against me. If I'm wrong, I get out quick and I can get right back in if the market reverses back in my direction. And that is how professional traders operate. They get out when they're wrong and they get right back in sometimes when they see they were right, but they just got in too soon. So if you engage too early, get out. You can always get right back in. So stop loss, I have set at 0.9. Yes, I'm gonna get stopped out as you saw in the back test. I'm gonna take some losses. That's part of trading. Taking losses, there's not a, there's not a professional trader out there who doesn't take losses. And so moving on. Trailing stop loss is how I'm actually gonna sell for a profit. And I have it set at 1.9%, which basically gives me a one to two risk reward uh, ratio. And with that ratio, I only have to be right about 33% of the time. And as you saw in the back test, I was actually hitting much higher um, percentages, you know, 40, 50, 60%. And in one case, I think there was a 70 percenter. And in that case, I should be good as far as risk versus reward, meaning I should be in the profit even though I take some losses. And I do have the trailing stop loss percentage set at 0.49%. And what that basically will do is once I hit 1.99%, it will allow the target to move against me 0.49% before it actually closes the position. And what that will do is let's say it moves against me a quarter of a percent, but then continues up it will let this run as high as possible. It might go up to 7% and then pull back half a percent and sell out for a 6.5% win, which we do want our winners to run, but we want to cut our losers immediately. And I use this exclusively as my take profit, and I do want it to reset. And I don't do auto close, short settings, or dollar cost averaging on this particular bot. So we hit save to ensure everything in the configuration is saved. And before we jump over to the dashboard, we want to make this a live bot. We'll hit save again. And now we can jump to the dashboard and actually enable the hopper. And that's basically it. The bot is configured, ready to go, and it will start trading. And so to see the update video, be sure to subscribe. If you like the video, spike a like. And remember, before you send your money into battle, do your recon. See you in the next video.